Hi friends, welcome to my channel. Today I am very excited because I will be doing the Hercule Poirot mystery book tag created by Alice from Alice and the Giant Bookshelf. I love her videos. This week she has been doing different videos to celebrate Agatha Christie's birthday, which was on the 15th of September. So let's start doing the questions. First question. Hercule Poirot is a detective who is extremely proud of his achievements. In the mystery of the blue train, he announced, My name is Hercule Poirot, and I am probably the greatest detective in the world. If not Poirot, who is your favorite detective? And what book do you recommend featuring your favorite? Well, in my case, my favorite detective is definitely Poirot. I've discovered him um, this year, really, um, before I watch some uh, TV adaptations with David Suchet, and I love him. But now that I'm reading the books, uh, I've learned more about his personality so, and her, his interactions with Hastings. And uh, so I would like to recommend, for example, Lord Edgeward Dice. Also, I would recommend the short stories because they are, most of the time, they are really cozy, cute details and lots of interactions between Poirot and Hastings. The second question is, Hercule Poirot famously uses his little gray cells to solve cases. Have you ever solved an Agatha Christie mystery? If yes, which one? So I have never solved an Agatha Christie mystery. Sometimes I've tried, but most of the time I don't I don't try to solve it because usually what I uh, like is just to to be surprised by the mystery and I enjoy more the the aspect of being in the um, in a very atmospheric setting and the the sleuths in this case Poirot or Miss Marple Hastings and the little co little cozy details and the um, old timey details etc. So uh, for me it's okay if I don't if I don't get to solve the mystery. I think maybe with time I will be able to do it when I have read a lot of books. But at the moment I cannot I cannot. Uh, solve any mystery. <laughs> then the third question is, the mysterious affair at the styles is the introduction to Hercule Poirot. Recommend a first book in a series where you met one of your favorite characters. So for this question, I would recommend Agatha Racing, The Quiche of Death. I especially like this book. That is, that is the first in the series because Agatha Racing was one of the first uh, cozy mysteries that I read. And I really like the first book. Um, the protagonist, Agatha, is different from many protagonists. She decides to stop working and to retire. Uh, she works, she is very successful. She has a public relations agency, but she decides to stop. And she, uh, she had been planning this retirement for a long time because she wants to spend her time in the Cotswolds in England. A, a very beautiful um, region in England where there are lots of beautiful villages, really quiet villages, and uh, she has to, she wants to have a cottage and just spend uh, a cozy time and relaxing time there. At the beginning, she feels really um, lonely, but then she learns to make friends and she starts to take part in the village life. To make friends, she enters the local quiche making competition and to make quite sure of first prize, she secretly pays a visit to, Lo to a London deli. Alas, the competition judge succumbs after tasting her perfect quiche and Agatha is revealed as a potential poisoner, definitely not the best start. So Agatha must turn amateur sleuth and solve the crime. The fourth question is, Murder on the Orient Express. Agatha Christie wrote several Poirot books set on different types of transport. What is your favorite mystery set on a train, plane, or boat? For me, it is a Poirot mystery, Death in the Clouds. I really love this mystery. I was um, very surprised um, because it, it was not like I, I expected it. Um, here, although Poirot and Hastings are not together, in this adventure, 
Uh, I enjoyed it very much because the first part of the story takes place in a plane. Poirot is just traveling um, and he even uh, is not in the best form because he um, cannot deal with altitude and so uh, he's not feeling very well and exactly in that moment what happens of course someone is murdered and there are many suspects who have been on this plane and Poirot of course tries to solve a mystery and at the same time he wants to protect the people who are not guilty and so in this in this story you see lots of Poirot's personality and how human he is and uh, how he wants to protect uh, the people um, who he sees as most vulnerable and um, it also takes place between Paris and England so I can definitely recommend this mystery and I think it is not so popular like other mysteries by Agatha Christie but it is a very good story. Question number five. The ABC Murders features a killer working their way through an alphabet of victims. Recommend a mystery involving a serial killer. In this case, I cannot recommend any mystery. Normally, I don't like these kind of mysteries. Next question. Damp witness. Bob the dog helps Poirot's investigation in this one. Can you recommend a book where an animal helps to solve the case? So, I cannot recommend a book like that, but I can recommend the series... Um, Poor Danby, Cozy Mysteries by London Lovett. The first of the series is Marigold and Murder. And the protagonist has a pet crow, Kingston. Lacey Pink Pinkerton has left behind a six-figure job and her reputation as the Million Dollar Nose, a nickname her super sense of smell earned her within the perfume industry. With her pet crow, Kingston, and a tabby cat named Nevermore, she is settling right into her new life in the small coastal town of Port Danby. With a flower ch shop opening soon and a full cast of quirky neighbors and friends, her new digs are exactly what she's been looking for. So, and there is also a little bit of romance in these um, stories. And so it gives you all the cozy feelings, all the cozy vibes. And um, Kingston is really cute. Question number seven. Five Little Pigs. Poirot solved several cases in, this, in his time that have been closed for years. Which is your favorite cold case, Poirot? If you don't have one, can you recommend any other authors, detectives who have solved past cold cases? I also cannot recommend um, any book in this, in this, um, for this question. And uh, I am hoping to read Five Little Pigs very soon. It's, uh, I think, the favorite book from uh, Alice, so yeah, I'm looking forward to read this book. Then question eight. Dead Man's Folly is famously said at Agatha Christie's own holiday home Greenway. What is your favorite mother mystery setting? And I love a mystery who takes place in a country house or in a village. And uh, that's for me the best setting. Next question. Do you have a favorite Poirot mystery? If not, tell us a favorite mystery you've read recently. My favorite Poirot mystery is so far Lord Edgeworth Dies because uh, I love the interactions between him and Hastings. It is also, I think, a long mystery and there happen lots of different things uh, like in all Agatha Christie books, but I especially like this one. It was uh, very creative, very original. I couldn't uh, find out till the end who was guilty and it is there is lots of variety in the story I feel so that's my favorite mystery next and last question how many Poirot books have you read if you've not read any or haven't read many yet which one do you plan to read next and I have written my books here that I've read Yes. Okay. So I just read the mystery, the mysterious affair of styles, the murder on the links, the mystery of the blue train, burial at end house, Lord Edgeworth dies, death in the clouds, sad Cypress. I also love this book very much. 
Mrs. McGinty said, really interesting. Uh, some parts are really funny. And also I, I got to read for the first time uh, a book with Ariadne Oliver, Agatha Christie's Alter Ego. And I even made a reading blog about it. I had lots of fun. I read the book in one day and it was really lots of fun. And um, I can really recommend it. And then Cadamon the Pigeons, which takes place in an exclusive school for girls. And I love also these kind of settings, uh, university, in a boarding school. So I can really recommend this book. So I have read one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I've read nine from the, I think, 33 Poirot Mysteries. And I've read, uh, so far, I read like 12 short stories. And I also have uh, had lots of fun with these short stories. I can really recommend them. And I would love to tag uh, Gina from Gina's Tenure Books, Naomi from Naomi's Bookshelf, Kaylee from Luminous Libro, and Catherine from Taking Tea with Catherine. Those are channels where I get lots of uh, recommendations for uh, mystery books, for cozy books. I love all these channels and these lovely ladies, and I hope they will be able to do this tag because it's a lot of fun. And I, I am really happy to be part of this celebration of Agatha Christie's uh, birthday. Her books uh, have been lots of fun for me, and I especially love uh, Poirot and Miss Marple. For me, the things that I like the most are the old-timey elements, the um, sleuths. Uh, Poirot is really special. I like his humor, his uh, friendship with Hastings. And so I am really grateful to Agatha Christie for having created these wonderful books. And so let's celebrate together Agatha Christie's birthday. And thank you very much, Alice, for creating this wonderful tag. Cheers!